How many y'all remember this song? I made it home just in time before the rain started. It's moving past now, though. Never. Never. Uh, this is actually Walter Hawkins. reading from me in my last live that I did, um, I'll do your reading. I do need to text, um, Kelsey, are you in here? Ha ha ha, big bang Hank. I like that. All right, y'all. So that is the channel song for this message. I'm never alone and neither are you all. No matter what you're going through, no matter what it feels like, you're never alone. Remember that. Um, even if you feel like you are, Spirit is always watching out for you and bringing the right folks into your life to help you make it through. Um, and just showing up out of nowhere for you. Um, so that you know that you're never alone. The more that I allow spirit to lead and guide me, the more um, the more people, my soul family, are coming in to show me that I'm never alone and that they're there with me, for me. And I appreciate you. You know who you are. You know who you are. Um... And I thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you so much for... Well, thank you so much, Carrie. <laughs> um, you know who you are. Always um, being there for me um, when I'm up, when I'm down, when I'm all around um, my soul family that checks in on me or pops up just because I appreciate y'all. We're going to get into a reading here and see what Spirit has to tell us. And, uh, okay, you're Kelsey? Okay, I'll do your reading. And Aquarius, are you in here, Aquarius 333? All right, here goes that fly. <laughs> Come into this reading spirit for this collective and show us what we need to see. Ooh, we got the devil in there. That eight of pentacles. So there could be an increase in some type of work or something like this here or money. I 
I want to thank you all who have already donated to um, me to help me uh, get my electric and my gas back on. I, I really want to thank you guys for that. Um, good afternoon. Um, Oh, hi, Zakia, but you're not Aquarius 333. Aquarius 333, you know who you are. Please let me know um, you're in here if you're in here. I love you guys, too. Um, thank you guys so much. For, for those of you who weren't on my live earlier, I was explaining that a few years ago when I was homeless, before I became homeless, I um, had a... Um, electric bill that I turned off before I moved out of the home, before I um, became homeless and I received a message telling me it was turned off, I got all the documentation. However, a few weeks ago, uh, two weeks to today, um, BG and E uh, showed me that they had a bill from for the last two years, which I just it um that uh my bill was still on in that house and so i owed them twenty seven hundred dollars and they turned off my my electric and my gas uh two weeks ago and me and my son have been dealing with no electric no gas and i've been trying to stay afloat and i just want to say thank you for those of you who have been donating to me if you still want to donate uh, to help me get my electric and my gas turned back on. I appreciate it. My cash app is um, the cash app sign and then T, capital T, Awakened Empress. And you'll see a picture of me uh, in a uh, reddish um, dress. Um, we are, I want to, what I want to do is show you guys the bill. And then if you guys want to, you could just send money right to the company. Um, because I don't really want to have anything to do with the money. I just want my fucking utilities turned back on. I've been having to go up to the Panera to charge everything uh, every day. I, you know, spend money on ice and uh, regular food for me and my son. What we can keep because, of course, there's no electric, so I can't put nothing in the refrigerator. So we're eating like that, um, whatever I can get us uh, that'll stay. Um, so I thank you guys for donating to me and my son as we're, uh, dealing with this. I will be, um, I will be, uh, showing you guys, if you guys want to see the bill, I can bring it up on my computer and the, uh, account number. You guys can just send money directly to it and, um, I don't have to have any thing to do with that. Um, I will definitely do that, um, if you guys want to see it, but, um, I want to, look, my, look, the little, uh, cardinal is up on the wire. <laughs> the little cardinal is up on the wire, he just flew away. And, um, I just appreciate all that you guys have done so far, um, to help me get my gas and my electric back on. I have other things going on in the background with my adult children as well. Like I was saying earlier, I do feel like this is a spiritual attack. I don't feel like this is just random. I know a lot of people would think that it is, but it's not. And I know it's just because I'm getting so, so, so close to the goal that Spirit has for me. Um, and so there's people uh, sending negative energy and there's also just all the energy that comes up when you're almost close to your goal. Uh, when you can see it, almost touch it, almost taste it, everything comes out of the woodworks. And that's what's happening to me right now, guys. Uh, so I want to say thank you to those of you who are um, helping to... Uh, go towards um put giving me money to go towards my bill i really appreciate it you guys okay all right well i appreciate you uh hey there valerie hey there and i'm i like i told you guys um 
I'm going to show you guys everything. Very, I'm going to be very transparent. I'm going to be very open and honest with you guys about this whole thing that I'm going through with the favorite chef thing. I know that that is a part of this, and that's why all of this stuff is being brought up. The Cash App is the Cash App sign, capital T, Awakened Empress. And then you'll see a picture of me. Um, I'm in a red dress, a uh, short little red dress. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you, you guys. Um, so just keep praying for me and, and, and my family as we go through all of the different uh, stuff that's going on in the background. And um, just continue to have us in your prayers. I thank you again for those who are donating. And for those who cannot donate, I still appreciate y'all for coming on and supporting me, voting for me for the favorite chef. I'm not going to let nothing stop me. I don't care how much shit tries to fall apart. I'm going to keep going. Um, I want to see what God has for me. And the only way that I'm going to see that is if I just keep looking forward and not looking at what's going on behind me. So I'm I'm just keep running, y'all. Okay? Yeah, we were in the pandemic. Well, this is this is B G and E. Uh, this is B G E, and I trust me, I've already contacted every assistance program that I could think of. I contacted the P U C. I've contacted um, the corporate office for B G and E because they're the ones who told me that they turned off the gas and the electric in the other house. I even have the documentation on uh, email, and I showed these people, and they won't honor it. Um, so they're saying that I have to pay all that back. Um, so I want you guys to, to know that I'm doing my part. <laughs> I've tried, I've gone, all the assistance programs are, I'm waiting to see if they're going to help me. And some of them, they're not in their new fiscal year yet. So they don't have the money. So I'm just, um, praying for a miracle and you guys have already started that miracle. So, I want to thank you guys for all the help that you're giving me and my son, okay? Come into this reading spirit for this collective. I agree, Shanice. Thank you, Nov. I really appreciate you. It's all God. I love you too, Gator. All right, you guys. We're going to get into this... Um, where am I located? Baltimore, Maryland. And they're the only uh, gas and electric company here. So I got to go through them to do everything. And um, unfortunately, they're not willing to budge. I was on the phone for two hours and I was up there. And I also went and showed them all the information I have. I called corporate. I talked to them. They are not willing to budge, even though they're the ones who sent me the confirmation email uh, telling me that the electric and gas would have been turned off in that house uh, before I became homeless. And um, apparently they don't want to honor that. Um, and that's okay. And they told me to get a lawyer. So I'm going to follow their advice and I'm going to get me a lawyer because I'm going to get whatever money back um, that they're trying to make me pay um, for this. So show me what I need to see here for this collective. Thank you so much, Brill. I appreciate you. Hey, Tyleen. Yes, I am going to take it to court, Maya, because they, they told me um, to. I, I called the PUC. I haven't tried the Attorney General, but I'll look and see what that offer can do for me. Um, I don't go too much with the... the government stuff except for maybe their assistance program because the government is bullshit like they help who they want to help I know because I've been a social worker for I don't know how many years and all the red tape that I used to have to try to get for my clients to get the assistance that they need um, it, it's crazy the stuff that you have to go through in order to get uh, necessities met your basic needs you know so um, we gonna keep on moving forward and uh, knowing that uh, something is good coming. Look, nine of swords, fool. Something good is coming, okay? Some of I need to see pictures for this collective on today. What do we need to see, please, spirit, for this collective? I already. 
already sent fax the attorney general on you bill signed it okay i'm not really sure what you're talking about there um sweetheart hey there hey there how y'all doing come into this reading spirit for this collective and show me what i need to see on today I keep fi trying to figure out what day it is. We got 333 on the clock as I look at it, y'all. Okay. 333 in the afternoon. Those are my numbers, y'all. That's the Trinity. Okay. And I do believe I was getting, and I just got the chills. I was getting a song, uh, the song, Angels Watching Over Me, when I was um, in my room at my desk trying to get the cards that I wanted for today. Um, together, I was hearing angels watching over me because I know they do. Ooh, I know they do. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. We got the five of wands, so definitely could be some confusion, some fussing and fighting going on in the background with some of y'all. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There could also be some type of training that somebody's going through. We got the Knight of Wands coming out. Lots of fire energy. And the Knight of Pentacles. Something's coming in here to make some type of a shift. When I get the Five of Wands and the Knight of Wands together, this is like a transformative time. Okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles. Something sturdy is coming in. I heard something passionate is coming in. We got the chariot on the bottom of the deck, Cancer energy. So moving forward, like I said, Seven of Swords, there's some type of a plan here that is going to be moving someone forward. Some type of a training that you could be going through. There could also be, like I said, some type of uh, confusion going on in the background. Yeah, she probably is. Is, is my, um, my moderator not in here? Let's block her. I haven't even really been paying attention to this person. Whoever she is. Ain't nobody paying attention to her. I did block them. Don't nobody have nightmares? Who the fuck is this? Yeah, she was. She was a bot or something like that. You left the karmic and said, fuck that shit. Thank you, sweetheart. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for this collective. We got the nine of swords coming out. So definitely could be some stress and anxiety going on with someone. Definitely could be an Air Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Ten of wands in the reverse, but... It looks like somebody's about to be able to lay down something here. Somebody's coming in with, ooh, somebody's heartbroken. Something that they're trying to manifest in is, isn't working. Could be a Leo. Could be an Aries or a Virgo. Or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody's in their head because something that they're trying to manifest in isn't working. Okay, could be a Virgo towards Capricorn as well. What else? There's some type of confusion going on in the background with this person. And they're in their head about it. Look, the two of cups. Something that they're trying to... Where did that other one go? The six of swords. Someone's trying to move to common waters in some type of a love situation here. Could be a king of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy coming out in the reverse. Somebody having some type of a money issue and they're watching somebody else, it looks like. And they're trying to move to common waters and lay something down with this person. But I feel like it's a love situation here. Like someone's trying to move to a common waters in some type of a love situation. But there's confusion going on in the background. Aries, Leo. Sagittarius, also Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. Someone's coming in with some type of an offer towards someone. But I feel like they're trying to sneak away from a family situation. What is this? It's 
Somebody trying Somebody feels left out in the cold by you collective and they trying to sneak towards you, but they trying to sneak out of a family situation. I'm sorry, but this looks like somebody trying to sneak out of a family situation. Look at them. Look at them. Verbal Taurus Capricorn energy with the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, as well as Pisces with the Ten of Pentacles here. Definitely feel that could, there could be a masculine verbal towards Capricorn energy that's having some type of money issue that is going through some type of confusion in the background that wants to come towards someone for what love, a love offer. This is a soulmate. Okay, this is a soulmate. There's some type of confusion or fussing and fighting going on in the background. Though. I'm hearing a lot of chatter. Gemini energy strong with the two of cups here. What is this five of wands? What's this five of wands? The ace of cups. Someone is, is, is about ready to fight for it. I'm hearing Luther. So, wait for love. Sometimes love. And you'll get a chance to what is it? Get the love, wait for love, wait for love. I don't know all the words. Someone's Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Verbal Taurus Capricorn energy on the bottom of I feel like somebody wants to bring a love offer, but I feel like there's some type of competition. There's some type of competition. Somebody wants to bring in some type of a love offer, but there's some type of competition that somebody's worried about. Maybe that's why this nine of swords is here. Somebody's worried about, we've been getting this. Somebody worried about competition, that you got some options. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we do got the Knight of Wands out here, the, the uh, Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So you could have a few people and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this goes both ways. Women and men, they could be thinking, okay, well, I got some competition. They coming in slow, though. That's probably why they worry. That's probably why they worry with the Nine of Swords here because they've been moving slow. What is this Knight of Wands? Why is this Knight of Wands here? The Magician. I'm trying to tell you, somebody's trying to manifest you in, but they're having a hard time doing it here. King of Cups on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Uh, someone's about to really spill the beans is what I'm hearing. They're about to spill the beans on how they feel about you. Somebody's, yeah, somebody's about to spill the beans. I'm a tourist that says going to be alone. I didn't found me. Oh, thank you for the flowers. And the gems. I appreciate that. All right, what's this Knight of Pentacles? The Wheel of Fortune. Something very sturdy coming in. Something very, very sturdy coming in. This Wheel of Fortune is bringing in some type of abundance. With the Knight of Pentacles, I can't make it up. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This, this, this Wheel of Fortune is bringing in some type of sturdiness in your finances, in your family, okay? High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles. This is something that you're going to be able to hold on to. The Strength and the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. Could be some type of a contract here that is meant for you. Could be something to do with travel. Someone is watching you online, though. Could be an Aries Leo. Sagittarius feminine energy that could be watching you online here. What is this King of Pentacles? We got the Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give to you. Whoever this King of Pentacles is that uh, is having some type of financial difficulty... Somebody, the wheel is turning. Confirmation with the B. The wheel is turning and this person wants to give to you. 
even though it may seem like they don't have a, a lot to give you, this person wants to give to you now. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy strong. What is this not of nine of pentacles, nine of uh, cups on the bottom of the deck? You are this person's happiness, but I feel like they are very unhappy without you. I do feel like this person could have been juggling some things in the background. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here, or someone goes back and forth about something. Cancer energy, also the hangman is Pisces. Someone seeing someone from a different light and somebody wants to bring something in towards them. What's this nine of swords? What's this nine of swords? It's like somebody's going through some type of a transformation or they're seeing you go through some type of transformation. It looks like you're going to be walking away. Eight of cups. Com um, we're confirming the nine of swords. Okay, y'all? Somebody walking away from the Nine of Swords. We got the Four of Wands on the bottom. There's some type of a love situation here that somebody's walking away from the Nine. Someone's walking away from being in their head about something. And they're coming to get their person, it looks like here. Two of Cups, Six of Swords. They want to, this is your person with the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is, ooh. This is your person. This is either a twin flame or a soulmate that is coming to get you. Someone wants to get out of their head because the Nine of Swords is being clarified by the Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away from the Nine of Swords with, from the Eight of Cups. When you're going from the Eight of Cups, you're going to the Nine of Cups, which is what is making you happy, okay? Somebody's going towards what makes them happy. What is this Two of Cups? What's this Two of Cups? The Ten of Pentacles. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So either this is a contract that's coming towards you or this is your person. This is your ever, forever love, okay? Someone that you can make a family with. Someone that you can build with. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. This person coming Russian? This person coming a Russian? <laughs> They're like, hey, <laughs> charge, okay? They're like, I'm going for my person. I'm walking away from this shit here. I'm walking away from being in my head about this shit and I'm going towards my person. Like, I'm no longer in my head. I'm, I'm tired of being in my head. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do this. What's the six of swords here? What's the six? Ugh, three of cups. This person wants to connect with you now. They want to celebrate here with you. Four of cups. They do feel like they could have missed out on some type of an... Um, opportunity here with you but they come rushing in because they want to reconcile they want to be happy with you pisces energy here also aquarius libra gemini and yeah pisces cancer scorpio this is amazing energy what's this wheel of fortune the page of wands so you're about to get some type of message about this okay Four of Wands, again, this is definitely someone who is your equal. Someone, 1111, that is soulmate energy. That is twin flame energy, especially with the Two of Cups here. What's this Ace of Cups? What's this? The Three of Pentacles. Okay, somebody want to work it out. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. Like someone wants to come together with you and build something. King of Swords could definitely be business. Does not have to be love. Although we got the three of cups here and the two of cups here. It could be a contract, okay? Like I said, there's, with the five of wands, it made me feel like there was some type of confusion or there could have been some training or there's something that's coming in here that is meant for you. With the two of cups, it is meant for you. Ten of, ten of pentacles, it's meant for you. You hear the bird. We got the world coming out, the queen of cups, the five. Somebody could be a little jealous in the background. There could be a few people. We got a page of pentacles and a page of cups here and the king of wands. Wow. There could be quite a few. And the queen of cups. There could be a few people that's jealous of what you got going on here. Definitely could be business that you're doing online or something like this here. Or this could just be some type of business that you're trying to grow. And someone is keeping an eye on it here. Damn, we got the Emperor too. The Emperor, the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Swords. That's a lot of motherfucking people. 
Okay, we already got the page of wands out here and the knight of wands. There's people paying a lot of attention, a lot of attention. What's this ten of pentacles? The four of cups. Someone coming in because they feel like they could have missed some type of an opportunity here. Knight of cups. I can't make it up. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Then we have the High Priestess, the Hierophant. God damn, God damn. And the Ten of Cups. Okay. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, Pisces energy, strong, Cancer, Scorpio. Your ears started ringing. Get him a cape. Mm -mm. New energy is a Scorpio. Okay, CC. What's the overall energy for this reading? I'm gonna pull. Um, I'm gonna pull a daily living card. I got some new cards. I told y'all I have a wonderful person who loves to send me tarot cards, and you know who you are. Uh, thank you so much for all the new cards you sent me and I'm going to be trying to, you know, factor them in. I'm also going to be offering some new readings according to all of these cards that I'm getting y'all. So pay attention. Make sure y'all check out the shop and you'll see the different types of readings that I'm going to be offering. I'm going to update that soon. Okay. We got 333. And then didn't I say we saw 333? Nine of Wands. Someone's definitely guarded. Yeah, someone's definitely going. We got uh, Aries Leo. Sagittarius energy. Nine of Wands, the strength, and the seven of wands. It's like somebody wants you to put down your guard here. Somebody wants you to put down your guard here. Could be a fire sign. And you could be slowly letting your guard down here when it comes to this. But someone definitely is like really in their head and they're done doing that. They're done being in their head about something. <clears throat> And my voice was going out. So somebody don't want me to say this. Somebody don't want you to know that they coming towards you. We had the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Lots of fire here. The Ace of Swords. The King of Swords. Someone's coming in with some type of truth, some type of clarity about something here. I do feel like somebody is assessing something here with you. Someone could live at a distance from you. Lover's card. Someone could definitely live at a distance from you or... Um, maybe you're getting ready to be a, at a distance from this person. I feel like something hasn't taken, uh, ha uh, hasn't happened yet. But like it's going to be. Somebody wants to start, ooh, somebody does want to start something new here with you. I feel like so there's some type of cycle that you're ending with someone that could be toxic. Could be a verbal Taurus Capricorn. Capricorn strong with the devil here. Also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, let me pull, I wanna pull a, pull a healing message for you guys. And also we got Iyanla Van Zandt. Uh I didn't even know she had a damn uh, deck. Okay, but they got one created for daily living tips. So, Yama, uh, and this is an old deck, y'all. This was, where did I see the date at? 2003. I didn't know Yama. Hey, hey, sweetheart. Aquarius, did you get my email or my text? I forget what I sent you. Thank you, Remy. I appreciate you. So we got, we're going to see what Iyanla has to say today for us for our daily living tips. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for this collective. What do I need to see for this 144 as I look up? Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Um, the cash app is capital T, Awakened Empress, Okay. at this all the cards that i got from uh this individual are amazing 
and some of them I really have to really read the book and get into y'all and I feel like you guys are going to enjoy them so much. Show me what I need to see please for, for this collective. Oh I got the chills. I guess we about to see something good y'all or see what we need to see. Show me what I need to see and not what I want to see. We ask that you protect us while we receive these messages spirit and we thank you today. Show me what I need to see please spirit. I hope it rains again, because that rain was nice. Bottom of the deck is, are you willing to hear someone out today? Oh, Lord. So there could be someone trying to come towards you that wants you to hear them out. They got something to say. We got, when you listen with the heart rather than the head, you hear what's really going on. Wow. Wow. Behind that is who do you need to listen to? So there could be somebody that you need to listen to that you ain't paying attention to. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit. Who do I need? What do I need to see? We got, are you willing to be a source of encouragement today? A word of support or encouragement does wonders to lift the spirits. And whom have you encouraged lately? I like these. Give me one more. There's a beach. Y'all could be at the beach or getting ready to take a trip to the beach. Somebody, somebody could be a director or you could be directing something. Let's see what fell out. We got, when are you going to step into your greatness? Oh, 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 that. Oh, spirit, you, you stepping on toes. Okay, we got, are you willing to try on a little greatness today? When you allow yourself to be more than average, you inspire average people to do the same. So are you, are you willing to get, step into your greatness today? You just booked the beach for next weekend. It sounds good. Uh, thank you, Jim, for letting everybody know what it was. Live near the beach. Thank you for the follows, y'all. So there goes Iyanla's deck. On the bottom of the deck is, are you willing to stand in the power of, of authenticity today? If people don't know who you really are, they draw conclusions based on who you are not. Mm -mm -mm. That's the truth. And where in your life have you been less than authentic? So spirit is calling us out on today. Where in your life have you been less than authentic? And are you willing to stand in the power of authenticity today? Okay? Then we got a lighthouse on this card. So some of y'all could... Uh, like I said, be near the beach or you could be near a, spa a space where there's a lighthouse. Some of y'all could have a boat or be getting ready to go on a boat. What are those numbers? We got 555 five, five, and 333 three, three on the lighthouse. Y'all can't see it, but it's really, really small. I could barely see that shit. I got it all the way out here. You know how you, when you get older, you got to be like, what the, what the fuck? What is what is that? <laughs> I'm getting there, y'all. I can't. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> oh, God. See, we seeing them people that got that always got their reading glasses with them. I understand now. Okay, I understand. I understand now. Okay, let's get a few uh, from this healing, the healing messages cards. Okay. <laughs> Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. Show me what I need to see for this collective. What is the healing message for this collective on the day? And then I'm going to get into a few of my cards. And I'm going to cut that short. Because I only brought one of the decks from here from my cards. And then I'm going to do the readings for you all who um, bought readings from me earlier today. And if you just bought a reading from me. Okay. I'll take a look and see. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. What's the healing message for this collective on today? What is the healing message? 
I'm driving by Lighthouse Academy right now. It's a school. Wow. Mercy. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, on today for the healing message. First card out is here and now. The future does not exist and the past is gone. I focus on the present moment. I have confidence in life again because here now there is no danger. Everything happens when my soul is ready. So then that's your, that's blue. So that's your throat chakra. Okay. What else? Blue again. We got wisdom. God has a plan for me. I live here now knowing beauty is to come. I don't force things to happen faster than the universe has decided for me. I learn from my experiences, take small steps in faith, and succeed thanks to all my efforts. That's right on time, okay? Then we have the voice of the heart. I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruit of these words guides me. I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on the path of light. That's a bluish too. So I'm going to say this is all about the throat chakra, opening up and speaking your truth. And uh, Iyanla was kind of talking about that too, about being authentic, about showing parts of you that maybe you find are uh, hard to show, like the vulnerability. Some people don't like to be vulnerable. Some people don't like to show that. Some people don't like to show emotions because they feel like people are going to use it against you. But you have to understand that people can't do that any more than you allow them to. Okay? And if people do tend to take, you know, advantage of your vulnerability, they have to deal with that. That comes back on them. If they take advantage of you because you're being authentic, you're being real, because you're in there speaking badly about you, because you're that way, it goes back on them. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of my cards to see what else Spirit wants to let us know about this energy today. We got in it for the money and our Kelly vibes and down low. Oh, uh, Spirit. So let's see what else we get coming out, y'all, for this person who wants to come in. They tired of being in their head. They want their person, okay? Let's see what comes out. We got down low. So they ain't letting nobody know. We got jeans. So it could be a family member that wants to come towards you also. We got video and karma. So somebody could be watching something. Somebody could be watching something or they could be watching you. We got hug. So I don't know if some of y'all need a hug. I could use a hug. Um, ooh, I got the chills when I said that. We got jeans. So definitely could be a family member coming towards you. Who else, Spirit? And what else? We got, oh. We got, will you marry me? What the fuck did I say? Your person trying to come in here. Okay. Somebody trying to come in towards you. And we got start and video. Also court issues and transformation. And naked. So someone could be being vulnerable and it's part of their transformation. Like maybe you haven't been vulnerable, but your transformation is, is allowing you to become that. We got rest and drip. So you just need to relax and the money going to come to you. Okay. What else? Look, we got it's up and it's stuck. I can't make it up. Yes, they are. What else? We got uh-oh. So something's coming in all of a sudden with this uh-oh here. That's my tower card, okay? Something unexpected. And we got get some advice and stalker. Oh. So there could be a stalker that could have some advice for you. Or maybe somebody wants to give you some advice about a stalker. I don't know. We got sticks and stones. And too much damage has been done. So there could be someone talking about you behind the scenes. Too much damage has been done in that relationship, I guess. And someone could be talking about you. 
Or you could be talking about, we got transformation jumping out and court issues, also video and start. Somebody's watching a video or something over and over again, or they're watching your video or something that you post or something like this over and over again. We got transformation coming out. Also brother. Like I said, it could be a family member. We got just dirty and falling. Mm. Somebody could be falling in love with someone. Someone's transformation. We got don't play with me. Don't play with me. We got just dirty. And what the fuck do you want? Oh. Somebody. <laughs> kind of sound like me. But it's somebody. We got a snowman coming out. And money bags. And ancestors. Yes. So the ancestors is about to bring you some money that you're unexpected. Uh, okay. We got left on red and enemy. And level up. I like it. What else, spirit? We got will you forgive me and uh-oh and drip. So somebody could be coming back towards you because of some money that's about to come in towards you or you got some money and they're trying to come back towards you with this uh-oh and drip. Oh, that's me. <laughs> that's you. Okay, we got too much damage has been done in solar plexus chakra. Yeah, somebody's in their feelings about something and we got Bill Cosby and financial constraints. So somebody could be getting you going to a uh, court. We got watch your back and student and bitch, please. So somebody could be learning something from you or they're trying to copy you. And you need to watch out for this person. Y'all see, y'all see the fly. Somebody watching you. What else? We got Aquarius coming out. Ooh. Oh, Lord. We got stalker and mother. So we got a mother and a brother here that could be stalking somebody. Oh, Lord. Somebody's family is stalking them. Or your, oh, yeah. Somebody, that's what Spirit said. And we got to level up. Probably because of a level up, we also got to take it slow. And profiles. Mm -mm -mm. And information. So there's going to be some type of, oh, I got the chills. There's some type of information you're going to get about a level up or some type of money or something like this here. Bottom of the deck is, will you forgive me? Somebody coming in for forgiveness. We got a student and solar plexus chakra and drip and sit your ass down. Like I said, the money's going to come right to you. You're not going to have to worry about it. Money's going to come right to you. What else? We got too much damage has been done in three to four years. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's enough. Wow. All right, and then I'm gonna start the other uh, readings. We got August coming out. So I don't know if your birthday's in August or if you're a Virgo or a Leo. We gotta stop that shit. Uh-oh. So there's something that in the family, maybe you fell out with a family member. We got an enemy. And karmic. Ooh, I got the chills when I say karmic. So you got a karmic energy around you that's an enemy or they feel like you're an enemy. Whoever this stalker is. Could be a mother or a brother. We got talking too much. So your ancestor said, shh. Because we got money bags and ancestors and talking too much. There's some money coming towards you and your ancestors are like, shh. Okay, and we got baby mama coming out. So there's somebody, baby mama, that you need to stop going back towards. But they stop this shit. Stop going back towards your baby mama. We got uncomfortable. And forgive me. I feel like spirit's about to make something uncomfortable for you when it comes to a baby mama so that you'll stop going back to this person. Like, I feel like you could be in love with this person, but you go back and forth with this baby mama. And spirits will have to make shit uncomfortable for you so you'll stop doing it. Uh-oh. We got a teacher and target. Ooh. And, and around the corner. There is something coming in from your ancestors that's going to be right on time. Thank you, spirit. Uh-oh. 
Oh Lord, we got a psycho. So there could be a psycho watching you. Okay. And then we got Kevin Hart. So somebody got a short temple or something like this here that you need to take it slow with. Or there's somebody short that you're dealing with. Could be a fire sign that you need to take it slow with. Especially with this don't play with me and just dirty. So somebody got a dirty mind or something like this here. Could be a fire sign. Yeah, what the fuck do you want? So yeah, I feel like this fire sign's a little frisky. They could be short. Okay. What else came out? We got a hug. Oh shit, this fire sign gonna be all up on you. But Spirit said take it slow. And I feel like you're gonna be guarded with this what the fuck do you want shit. But this person's gonna wanna be all up on you with this hug. Okay. This is so funny. We got reading your mail. So somebody could be sending you some mail or they could be reading a message that you sent to them and we got holding on. Mm, this person going to be stuck on you. We got Bill Cosby coming out. You block the psychos. <laughs> we got Dragonfly. You bring light to this world. And shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. This um uh, fire sign here, I feel like this person is like uh, um, someone who's really going to be on you. I don't feel like they're going to want anyone else to like be close to you, but this person's going to be up on you. We got you. You can get beat up. Oh, Lord. And leave my shit alone. This could be a friend also. This could be a friend that you play around with. Spirit saying, take it slow with this person. There could be something that you guys share when it comes to money or something because the S has a uh, dollar sign uh, with it. Oh, that reminds me. I have a few products I want to show you guys that I'm going to be having for sale uh, in my store. I don't know why the fuck that made me think of it, but it did. We got winning coming out here. Well, you definitely will because we got it's up and it's stuff. I don't know if you have a few different profiles or something like this here online. But it's up and it's stuck. And winning? Oh, yes. Okay? You could be an earth sign. We got big ego. Aries. Energy. I said this could be a fire sign here. We got a promise. And rest. So there's about there's going to be a time when you're going to be able to rest, but you got to leave this baby mama alone. Spirit is warning you that, that if things are about to get uncomfortable with a baby mama. And it's on purpose, okay? We got bitch, please and acting different. So someone thinks you acting different or they will be after this level up that you got coming in here. Like somebody gonna be in their feelings about you. We got obstacles coming out. I'm trying to tell you, leave that baby mama alone and we got publishing green. Yeah, there's something that you're gonna be posting or you're gonna be publishing or something like this and people are gonna be envious of it with this bitch please and acting different and level up. You could be a teacher or you could teach people something. There's some information here about this but somebody somebody mad somebody mad let them be mad okay but your ancestors are going to bring something in here right on time for you with this around the corner money bags top of target it's going to be right on time with the ancestors you're also going to be winning with this up it's up and it's set but there's a fire sign that's going to be, um, Spirit saying take it slow. I feel like you're going to be guarded with this shut the fuck up and what do you want and you can get beat up. I feel like you're going to act like you don't want someone to get close to you. <laughs> and it could be a fire sign. You can get beat up, shut the fuck up, what the fuck do you want? Yeah, you're going you gonna to be guarded as a motherfucker, okay? <laughs> But this person wants to be all up on you with this hug and just dirty. Could be a white a white person because we got snowman here. Y'all know I'm, I don't care about color, but snowman. I don't feel like this person just drugs. I just feel like they want to be all up on you. Okay. Why are you calling me out, Stacy? <laughs> it's the cards. Oh, thank you. With gifts, y'all are so sweet. He's a fire sign too. 
sounds like something a little sad. Yeah. Okay, I'll look at it, Remy. I want to get to the people who paid before in the in the last reading, okay? The last uh, live I did, I want to do those people first. So we're going to do Kelsey. Kelsey, are you still in here? Thank you for reminding me, though, okay? I appreciate that. There you are. Show me why Kelsey, did you want, did you want love, general, uh, financial, uh, spiritual? What did you want? Let me make sure I got good cards in here. Oh, thank you, Tori. Thank you guys for the gifts. I really appreciate them. Hey, Erica. You in general. Okay. Let me get an overall energy for you first. Come into this reading spirit for Kelsey. And show me what I need to see for Kelsey. Show me what I need to see, please, for Kelsey. I just saw giving and receiving. So watch out for that. Make sure that you're not over giving. Kelsey, show me what I need to see because maybe you do that a lot. Maybe you uh, overgive. Show me what I need to see, please, for, for Kelsey. And you need to make sure there's a balance. Show me what I need to see, please, for, for Kelsey. Bottom of the deck is worthy. Yes, you are. You are worthy for whatever you want, okay? Behind that is live out loud and shame. I feel like you could be a mother and your joy is your child, but I do feel like you have an issue with giving and receiving. It's right behind that. There could be some type of a um, cycle that sh that's ending when it comes to that. With the worthy and the living out loud and shame, it makes me feel like you have a lot of, look at all these colors. You have a lot of color within you. And I feel like you keep it all in here. Like you don't share it with other people. And I feel like Spirit is telling you that it's, it's time to get out of that keeping all of that colorfulness that you have inside. You need to bring it out so other people can see it. Oh, I got the chills. There's something about tea or coffee here. I feel like there could be a body image situation that you're dealing with. There's something about your body image. I don't know if you take your child to, uh, I toned it down. I do tone it down. Okay. I'm losing baby weight. Okay. I would say watch out for the caffeine. I don't know if you do caffeine, but if you do, watch out. Watch out. Especially if you're breastfeeding. You don't, you don't want to um, give your baby all that caffeine because it makes them irritable and they'll be fussy. Uh, they'll cry. Uh, uh, they could also have colic from it. Okay? But there's a lot of don't 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 hold yourself back because of other people. Like I, I just feel like you tone yourself down because other people think you're too much. Fuck them. If they want to get less, then let them go find less. Don't don't tone yourself down for other people. Someone needs to see this. Someone needs to see this. Okay, let's see what comes back. Show me what I need to see for Kelsey. We got grounding, so I don't know if you need to get outside or something like this here. It's the number three. We've been seeing threes, Kelsey. What else? What else? Yeah, shame. Definitely feel like you feel some type of way about your baby weight, okay? It's beautiful, though. I mean, you, you had a baby. Look, you're coming out as the Empress, Queen Nefertiti. You're very fertile right now. So if you don't want to have no baby right now, you better watch that shit. Okay. 
Behind that is betrayal and truth. So you could have found out recently about somebody betraying you. Could have been family. Doesn't have to be a, um, a loved one. I mean like a, a, a lover. And we got sacred lust, so maybe you need to get some. Okay. And we got awakening. So you're going through an awakening right now. There's people around you wearing masks, baby. And we also got scarcity. But I want you to know that you have everything that you need within you, okay? Um, and you know how to produce whatever you need. You're being crowned. You're being crowned. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Kelsey. Okay, Nikki, thank you so much. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Kelsey. What do I need to see, please, Spirit, for Kelsey? We got the three of swords, so definitely feel like something could have broken your heart when you found out about this betrayal. Show me what I need to see for Kelsey. Bottom of the deck is the fool, so you could be getting ready to start something new here after some type of a heartbreak. You could be focused on, on um, money. Someone was not giving to you equally here. Someone could have been um, not... Uh, Com non committal. Uh, somebody fucking around or something like this here. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Kelsey. What do I need to see? We got the Page of Swords. So somebody watches you, Kelsey, or you watch somebody with this Page of Swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. What else for Kelsey? Ooh, we got the Devil. Either somebody is obsessed with you that watches you. Or somebody has a lot of sexual energy here for you. We got the death on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I'm hearing the old ball and chain. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that's what the fuck I'm hearing. What else for Kelsey? We got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody is very sexually attracted to you, Kelsey. With this devil and this Ace of Wands coming out here, somebody got a fetish for you, boo-boo. Or you got a fetish for someone. Put yourself in a story how it feels. Somebody trying to uh, come to you with their dick in their hand. Mm -mm -mm. What else? We got the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn Energy. This could also be someone bringing in some type of a passionate offer for a business deal or something like this here. I don't know if you work from home or something like this, but this really feels like passionate energy. But you could be focused on your money or something like this at this time. What else for Kelsey? We got the Nine of Wands, the Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody did some type of betrayal or something here, but they want you to let your guard down or they want you to just let it go. That's what I'm hearing. Just let it go. Really? Yeah, two of cups in the reverse. Definitely feel like there was some type of a betrayal here and someone just wants you to let it go. The fuck? We got the death, the high priestess. I feel like you're going to start trusting your intuition more or something like this here. There's something about your intuition that you need to trust more and I feel like you're about to because I feel like you had a feeling but you didn't trust your intuition or something like this here. What is this page of swords? But, you, but I feel like you feel like I should have I should have listened to that. Page of swords. Yeah, there's somebody who's... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got the Emperor clarifying the Page of Swords. This is someone who watches you because they want to try to control you, especially with the devil right next to it. What is this devil doing here? We got the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Eight of Cups in the... This, like... This person is toxic, first of all. Also, this person is so sexually attracted to you. 
And they don't want you to walk away from it. It's like they want to control. It's like they try to control how much love they show you or something like this here, Kelsey. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or that could be your energy. Also, we got the uh, Capricorn with the Devil and Aries with the Emperor. Somebody is controlling as fuck. You doubt yourself a lot. Hey, hey, Rihanna. You do work from home. I'm a Virgo. Yeah, you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles here. What is this Ace of Wands? The Knight of Wands. Someone a hoe. Like, someone sleeps around. And I feel like... But this person wants to kind of keep you under their thumb. Person is jealous of you. Somebody could be suffering from migraines or an ear infection, or there's ringing in someone's ear. I feel like you could be getting. Ooh. I feel like you could be getting some type of um, signs or synchronicities. It feels like signs. I feel like you're getting body signs about intuition, about what you need to be paying attention to and you're ignoring them. You're getting body signs. Like your body is signaling you when stuff you need to pay attention to. What is this? Okay. What is this? Look, four of wands. And it came out in the reverse. I definitely feel like there's somebody who's non-committal. Somebody who wants to act like they are com committed, but they want to do whatever the fuck they want to do. What is this Queen of Pentacles doing here? We got the Eight of Wands. I do feel like there could be someone that you're not really talking to or that you're not moving forward or you're feeling like you're not moving forward when it comes to your finances, but you are. The Wheel of Fortune is right here. There's something, there's something that you're trying to move forward or get more of or something coming in here when it comes to your uh, finances. And someone is jealous as fuck with this Five of Swords and this Nine of Wands here. What's this Five of Swords? There's some, yep, the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's jealous of your work. Girl. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, also Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is this Nine of Wands? The Queen of Wands. Someone, someone really sees you as having it all. Beautiful, intelligent. You can make shit happen. You're very creative. Someone's jealous of your skills. We got the Death on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, Energy. The High Priestess, Nine of Swords, and Reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, you, you have, you need to start listening to yourself more because spirit is trying to help you heighten your intuition and your, your psychic abilities because you have them, but you don't trust them. We got Scorpio and the High Priestess. Yeah, you, you, you got a lot of psychic abilities and you don't trust it. You don't trust it. You don't, you are getting, you are getting downloads about someone in your life and and you ignore them could be someone that you're committed to what the fuck is this emperor doing here the ten of cups i do feel like someone is juggling you two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck i feel like there's somebody who juggles you but I feel like they try to make it seem like everything is all happy, all go lucky. They're fake. They have imposter syndrome. But there's something coming in here towards you when it comes to your finances. Eight, eight, eight. We got eight, eight, eight. Eight of cups, eight of wands, eight of pentacles. There's something coming in here towards you when it comes to your finances. There could also be a boss that's watching you. 
There could be a boss that's watching you. Something that's going to make you really happy here. Something that's meant for you. Two of Cups. You're going to be moving to common waters when it comes to your finances. I feel like maybe you've been juggling them a little bit. I also feel like there could be someone juggling you. Confirmation with the horn. Give us some advice on this spirit. Give us some advice for Kelsey. We got the Ten of Wands. So focus on work. What, what else? The King of Pentacles. I can't make it up. Focus on work. Ten, ten of Wands, King of Pentacles. You're, you're going to go from the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. That, ooh, I got the chills. That is fucking amazing, okay? I do feel like you're going to have to juggle some things or you could be getting another uh, uh, a position or something like this here. But Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, yeah, you're, you're, you're going to get an offer that's meant for you here. Chariot, Temperance, Ten of Pentacles. I can't fucking make it up. You're going to get some, something's coming in work-wise. Give me one more for what should she do with the advice. Yeah, stay. I definitely feel like you need to stay on top of your P's and Q's. Guard this with your life because spirit is trying to bring something uh, in here for you. This is meant for you, but make sure you... Ooh, I got the chill. Make sure you keep your guard up when it comes to your finances and stuff. Because Spirit's trying to bring some more money in here for you, Kelsey. Okay? I hope that that gave you um, clarity. The Six of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. There is going to be, there is someone around you who's not giving you equally as you give to them. So, we talked about the giving and receiving. I feel like you're a giver. An over-giver. So, please be careful with that. Okay? Good, good. Hey, how are you? All right. Um, Aquarius. Now, Kelsey, the next time you want a reading from me, you still have two left because you bought three. Thank you for that. <laughs> so you still have two. Whenever you want another reading, just hit me up and be like, hey, uh, I want a reading. Even if you want, since you're, you're local, um, if you'd like to get together and do it in person, we can do that too. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Also, you, you can bring the baby. Like, I don't... I like kids. I love babies. I love kids. Show me why I need to see... Um, where are you at, Aquarius. She caught her field on fire. Oh my God, from fireworks? Hey there, Aquarius. Do you want um, general love, financial, spiritual health? That's some crazy shit. Oh, I got the chills. Where are you at, Aquarius? Well, that's good. I would hope so. I would hope it's not still burning. That would be a problem. Aquarius, you still in here? Thank you guys for all the likes. Wow. Unblock. Unblock what? Aquarius, what you talking about? You confusing me. TikTok ate your comment. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You want general, okay. Come into this reading spirit for let's get an overall energy check for you first, Aquarius. What's your first name, Aquarius? Did you tell me? And then Remy, I'll do you if you're still in here. 
Well, not do you. You know what I mean. I'll give you your reading. Thank you for sharing my life. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aquarius. What does Aquarius 333 need to see right now? Aquarius 333. Bottom of the deck is Radical Rebirth. Okay, now. So you're going through a rebirth. You're going through some changes. Ooh, we are on that. We got Rage. Rock on with your bad self, okay? And then we got Queen Nefertiti, alchemy. So the Queen Nefertiti is empress energy for me. You're very fertile right now, so be careful if you don't want to have no babies. And uh, it's also soulmate energy with the number 38 is an 11. We also got behind that betrayal. So you could have gone through some type of a betrayal with someone close to you. We also got giving and receiving. So you also may need to work on your giving and receiving. We also got pleasure and self-sabotage. There's people around you that wear masks, baby. And I feel like you sabotage yourself with these people. I just heard imposter syndrome. So I don't know if that's you or your person or the person that betrayed you. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Aquarius right now. We got scarcity jumping out. So you could be dealing with a scarcity mindset, thinking that you don't have enough of something. What else for Aquarius? And we got shame. Hmm. So you also could be having some type of a body image or you could be having some uh, body image issue or self-esteem issue or something like this here. Or just feeling like you're not enough, especially with the scarcity and the shame. And maybe someone makes you feel like you're not enough. I also feel like you could get outside and you could get some grounding in. Or if you can't, like uh, I always say, like if you have plants, you can put your fingers down in there or repot your plants. Just touching the dirt or uh, touching your plants, shining up the, the leaves of the plants or something like this here can help do some grounding. Also, <laughs> clapping your hands, stomping your feet is grounding, dancing is grounding. There's different ways to ground, okay, you guys? Something that makes you feel grounded. Dancing around is definitely one of my favorite. I do that. I put my music on in my room all the time and dance the fuck around in the room. I do some stretches, some meditation, stuff like that. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aquarius. 333. What does Aquarius 333 need to see? You just purchased. Thank you, Rihanna. I'll take a look. Felicia. Thank you, Felicia. I appreciate that. Some of I need to see for Felicia. What does Felicia need to see? We got the three of swords. Ooh. So you could be suffering from some type of a heartbreak. Or this could be a uh, recent past. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit for Felicia. Yeah, someone was someone was sneaky and conniving and a liar and a cheater. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit for Felicia. Ooh, I got the chill. What do I need to see for Felicia? Bottom of the deck is the temperance. So there could be some type of peace or some type of calm or balance coming in. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could have that in your chart. We also got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the star, the page of so swords. Somebody watching your ass. Somebody who's emotionally unavailable that you ended shit with because they had a third party situation. This person is not, they a hoe. They are non-committal. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for uh, Felicia. I'm going to call you Aquarius again. What do I need to see for Felicia? We got the Eight of Swords. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. We got the Three of Cups. So there's someone who wants to come back toward you, who wants to reconcile with you. We got the Four of Cups. They feel like they've missed out on some shit here, but that's because they were doing too much in the background. Let's move this up. What else for? 
We got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. So there could be some type of a celebration that's coming in towards you. When it comes to your money, yeah, Ten of Cups. Something that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you. I feel like you're going to be celebrating with people. What else for Felicia? We got the Five of Swords coming out. So I want to say be careful who you're celebrating with because there's some jealous folks around you. Could be family. Show me what I need to see. Could be a mother I'm hearing. Show me what I need to see for Felicia. The Queen of Cups. What the fuck did I say? I said it could be a mother. And we got the Queen of Pentacles out here and the Queen of Cups. So be careful. Doesn't have to be your mother. They could just be a mother. Okay, look, the devil. I can't make it up. Bottom of the deck. Somebody jealous as a motherfucker of you. What else for Felicia? We got the Wheel of Fortune jumping out. So something's about to shift here. I feel like it has something to do with your finances. And we got scarcity out here. Oh, I got the chills. So yes, it could have something to do with your finances. I don't know if there's something that you feel stuck in. But that's about to end. Why is this Eight of Swords here? The Five of Wands. Yeah, you, that's about to end. I feel like you're going to be making sure that you get loose of this. And I'm hearing, shake yourself loose. So I don't know what, yeah, the devil. There's something toxic or there's some type of karmic ass family members. Six of Swords, you're going to be moving to Karma Waters though. Wow. Ooh, them chills. Something, something's coming in to knock you loose from something. What is this three of cups? What's this three of cups? The emperor. Aries energy here. Definitely feel like someone could be very obsessed over you. And wanting to control something here with you. There could be some type of fuss and fight and arguing that you might be getting ready to do with this person or you've already done with this person what is this queen of pentacles doing here you could definitely be taking charge of a situation when it comes to your money also what is this queen of pentacles well damn we got the eight of cups coming out so you could be walking away from a situation and the sun something good is coming in for you Ooh, these chills leo energy I feel like you're walking away from someone and going towards someone else or someone is walking, you're walking away from someone, period. And I feel like someone sees this. Chariot, you're moving forward. Cancer energy, and it's happening this season. This is cancer uh, season. What is this five of swords? Someone's jealous of you. What's this five of swords? And I just, ten of wands. Someone's jealous maybe of your work, the work that you put in. Mm, we got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. So either this is a contract that someone is jealous of that you may have, or this could be someone who is your twin flame that wants to try to work something out here with you. But I feel like uh, this person could be jealous of you. Mm -mm. Someone feels like Dick will fix it. What is this Queen of Cups? What's this Queen of Cups? We got the magician. So someone is manifesting something in here. This could be you. Aries, Virgo, energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, also with the uh, Ten of Wands. With the lovers on the bottom of the deck, this could be some type of a uh, compromise or this is some type of a uh, um, deal or a contract. This could be with someone or this could be some type of business here. Because we got the emperor here and the queen of pentacles, okay? There could be some type of competition or something for a position. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? What's this wheel? Well, damn, Spare, why you gotta go over there? But it's good cards. We got the Fool and the Two of Cups. So there's something new coming in here for you, whether it be a contract or be love. Ooh, I heard it's love, okay? I feel like it's both because we got Pentacles out here and the Emperor. So there's something coming in here that's meant for you. With the Two of Cups, that is something that is on your path that is meant for you. The Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the Two of Cups and the Fool, something new, something new is coming towards you. I don't know why, but I'm hearing, ain't nobody fresh as me. I dress so fresh, so clean. 
Don't you think I'm so sexy? I dress so fresh, so clean. I don't know who that is, but that's what was coming through. What is this sun? What's this sun? Damn, spirit. We got the Ace of Wands. Wow. We got the Ace of Cups. Wow. Oh, we got the king of cups. There's something new coming in here for you. Very passionate, very loving. We got the seven of cups and the four of pentacles. The, the multiple offers are coming in towards you. Passionate offers, loving offers as well. There's also someone who's going, who acts like they don't have feelings for you, but they really do. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there's multiple things coming in here towards you that's new. The wheel is turning in your favor. Things that you're going to be able to hold on to with the Four of Pentacles here. This is amazing energy. Why is this fool here? So get out of this, this scarcity mindset, baby, because there's stuff coming towards you that you may not see coming. What is this fool? What's this fool? We got the moon. I'm telling you, you don't see it coming, but there's a new beginning coming towards you. What is this two of cups? The tower. You don't see this shit coming. Ooh, I got the chills. You don't see this shit coming, but <laughs> it's coming, okay? And with the, the ace of swords, I feel like there could be someone telling you the truth about someone also. Someone's going to be telling you the truth about someone. You can find out that someone lost a baby. Scorpio energy, also Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Taurus energy. Wow. This is gonna this this information is gonna come out of the blue for you. But someone someone sees you as their match. We got the Emperor and the Empress out here. This is your ooh, I got the chills. This is your match, baby. This is your match, and you don't see this shit coming because it's going to come out of fucking nowhere. I like it. I like it. You wish you could have done this on the phone. <laughs> Next one. Next one. But this is, a, this is wonderful energy here. Your money, your money and your love is going to be on point. You got three aces out here. The ace of swords, the ace of wands, and the ace of cups. And the emperor and the empress. This is this is good energy. And you got the tower, the moon, the sun. Okay. The fool. The two of cups. Like this is an amazing reading. This is an amazing reading. Trust me, you like the ones that I do, the full readings that I do offline. I do, I go into much deeper detail than just this, okay? But I hope that that gave you uh, clarity and it gave you some insight on what's coming towards you. Remy. And Remy, you want general love, uh, financial, uh, spiritual, health. Is the line open? Yes, sweetheart, it sure is. Cassandra. Okay, Cassandra. I like Remy, it's cute. Show me what I need to see for Cassandra. What did you get, uh, Remy? Because I didn't even check. Oh, thank you, Phyllis. <laughs> you got a mini, okay. Show me what I need to see. Let's get an overall energy. I should, I should have brought my other. Let me go. Hold on. Daggone humidity is coming back, y'all. 
It was feeling good for a minute. And now the humidity's back. Y'all, I got me the cutest little electric, well, it's a battery operated fan because you know my ass always be hot. I found two of them. One for my son, one for me. <laughs> It works on batteries, and it works pretty damn good, y'all. Show me what I need to see for Cassandra. What's the overall energy, please, spirit, for Cassandra? Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Cassandra. Thank you for sharing my live, Mario. Mario? Yes, Mario. Bottom of the deck is work through your feelings. Aries energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries and you might have some type of feeling towards this person may have done something or said something that rubbed you the wrong way. Show me what I need to see, please, for, for Cassandra. And you need to work through your feelings. Allow yourself to feel those feelings that you feel and express them if you need to. We got to forgive. Pisces energy, Cassandra. So there's someone that you could need to forgive in the background or someone could be coming towards you for forgiveness. Show me what I need to see for Cassandra. One more, please. Thank you. Then we got let your fears dissolve. Cancer energy. So... We're in cancer season, so there could be something that you're dealing with that said your feelings. Maybe it's about a water sign, or maybe you're a water sign, um, and you're dealing with an Aries or something like this here, but I feel like there's some feelings that you need to work, work through. Like you're worried about, you're fearing something. When it comes to this person, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm looking at this squirrel trying to go across these uh, wires out here. Um... I feel like your spirit is asking you to step beyond those fears. Let those fears go and do what you know needs to be done, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Cassandra. Show me what I need to see and not what I want to see. We ask that you protect us while we receive these messages, and we thank you today, spirit. Please, spirit, for Cassandra. We got the seven of swords and the five of wands. I don't know if there was somebody that uh, you was arguing with, fussing and fighting with a little bit about a lie or being sneaky or some shit like this here. Somebody need to see, please, spirit, for Cassandra. The bottom of the deck is the empress. Ooh, are you pregnant? Can you get pregnant? If you can, you better be careful because you are fertile at this time. We got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, the Five of Swords. Somebody is, somebody don't give to you like they should. Like you give to this person, but they don't give to you like they should. I do feel like there's someone who's very jealous of you. You hear the bird. Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Verbal Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you're not checking for someone anymore because they lied to you about something. But somebody is manifesting some type of uh, comeback. Show me what I need to see, please, through it for Cassandra. What do I need to see? We got the Seven of Cups, so there could have been some type of options or something here or some type of confusion that was put in front of your face. Some type of illusions. But we got the Wheel of Fortune falling out. So something's about to change when it comes to this. Ooh. We got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy. Also Cancer and Pisces. What else, Spirit? We got the star, Aquarius. And there's something coming out, coming in here for you. A wish. I feel like you're, going about, you're about to get some type of options. And, and one of those options is going to be what you want. Someone watching your ass, too. What else for Cassandra? I'm sorry. Yeah, Cassandra. Yeah, the Sagittarius I left. Mm. 
We got four of cups. Yeah. Somebody in their feels over you. Wanting it. And there's something coming in here towards you. Somebody want to come out the cold. They want to give you some type of truth about something. Ooh, somebody toxic. I don't know if you met this person at work or has there's something about work here. There could be a, a, a work situation that's toxic or something like this here. What else? We got the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords coming out. There definitely is someone who's coming in here with their dick in their hand. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you got your back to them. Like what? What did you say? Okay. This person wants to communicate here with you. I do feel like this person juggled you, though. What is this seven of cups? What's this seven of cups? I feel like somebody's letting go of some... Um, options here two of wands there could be there could be quite a few options coming in towards you that don't live around you people that could be seeing you online or something like this here be careful because some of them are just sexual if that's not what you're looking for what is this wheel of fortune you could be online dating what is this wheel of fortune We got the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. So there could be someone who wants to show you how they feel about you. I do feel like this person has a lot of sexual energy towards you. We got 4-4. Four, four. So you could be seeing 4-4-4? Four, four, four. Yeah, we got 4-4-4. Four, four, four. four Cups, 4 Pentacles, 4 Swords. Someone holds on to you tightly and I feel Emperor energy. There could be some type of a celebration that this person wants to bring in towards you. I heard I want to tell you my good news. Somebody want to tell you some the good news or some shit like this here? I don't know if there's some type of a court case or something like this here. What is this star? What's the star? We got the moon. You don't see this. But there's something coming towards you that is wish fulfillment, I'm hearing. But there's going to be others that are not. So it's going to be up to you to decide what you want or uh, who you want. What is this for a cup? The Ace of Cups. Someone wants to come in here with an offer after they realize that uh, they miss you. That they missed out on something good. What is this page of wands? I got the chills. What's this page of wands? Bottom of the... Mm, what did I say about that sexual energy? The devil and the page of wands. That's definitely someone who's very sexually attracted to you that want, that's coming with a dick in their hand. Like I said. What is this page of wands? We got the page of swords. Somebody watches the fuck out of you. Somebody, look, they in their feelings. Five of cups on the bottom of the deck. And the devil was just peeking out. So, this person is obsessed with you, honey. What is this queen of swords? The eight of swords. Bottom of the deck is the temperance. Someone is feeling stuck in some type of a situation. But I feel like that is ending. Wow, wow, wow. We got the temperance, the death, the lovers, and the world. The nine of swords in the reverse and the tower. So this person's going to come in and out of nowhere. Because they want to get out of their head about something. But this is like a repeat cycle here is what I'm hearing. This is definitely a twin flame or a soulmate. I feel like it's more twin flame-ish. But somebody wants to end some type of cycle that they go through with you. They want to bring some type of calm, some type of peace in. And I'm hearing you can have a piece of my love. It's waiting for you. What is this Ace of Cups? The Nine of Pentacles. So you might decide to go ahead and be single when this person comes in. Three of Swords in her. Because you're still healing, okay? Three of Swords in the reverse here. Hermit is in the reverse. I feel like you could be coming out of your shell. 
Like maybe you've been in hermit mode for a while because of after this heartbreak or whatever, but that's about to end. Three swords is in the reverse. What is this moon? Because you're about to have multiple offers coming towards you. What is what is this moon? The eight of pentacles. Somebody's working on something or themselves. Why is this page of swords here? Who the fuck is this? The page of pentacles. That's three pages. This person. This person needs to grow up. We got three pages here. This person needs to grow up. A page, clarifying a page, clarifying a page. This person don't know how to talk to you unless it has something to do with sex. And they watching you. Also, I feel like they want to come in with some type of an apology here. Okay? With the page of pentacles there. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of swords on the bottom of the deck. What's the advice? Chariot. Move on. Keep it moving. You doing right. Okay? <laughs> What's the advice? Spirit said move forward, baby. Cancer energy during this season. So this person is going to come back towards you this season. And Spirit is saying move on. What's the advice? This person is coming in. Tower energy. Scorpio energy. Yeah, they coming in. Ace of Pentacles. It came out in the reverse of Ten of Swords. There, there's definitely something moving in here towards you. The Ten of, the Ace of the Pentacles, this person wants to come in with some type of an offer. And it's going to shock you. As you move forward, though, there's something coming in here towards you. That's about to end some type of a money issue. If you're having a money issue, there's something coming in very shocking that is going to end that money issue that you're having. The lovers. There could be some type of a contract. This could also be a lover that's coming towards you that's going to help end whatever this is. Wow. We got the lovers, the world, the death, the temperance. Like, this is meant for you. This is, this is something that you're, this transformation was meant for you, for you not to repeat some type of a cycle here. All right, I hope that that gave you uh, insight. Okay, and I hope that it gave you clarity about what's going on around you. Yeah, I say leave him on ignore. That's what it sounds like to me. Interesting, Chassie Lynn. You're welcome. Oh, she spelled my name wrong. Let me look on the thing and make sure no one else, uh, if you sent, uh, let me know that you sent so I can check it out. Hold on. You sent Dizzy, you sent, oh, that's right, you did say for Trey. Trey, what did you send for? Did you send, oh, that's right, Rihanna. Damn, y'all. Okay, so Rihanna, I do remember, and Brill. Did y'all all send for, um, okay, you sent for a mini Trey. Brill, what did you send for? You did a fool. God damn y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Oh my god. You guys are so awesome. Like Okay, so this is how it's gonna go. You guys know I go in order, right? Rihanna, you're next. Brio, you sent Cash App, because you always send Cash App. I'll do Rihanna, Brielle, Dewandra, and Trey. Okay. Rihanna, did you want love, general? What are the options for the list? Whatever you, um, 
go into the store and look at or you can pay it on you can look at the store and look at the price and then you can pay it on cash app or you can just pay it in the store it's up to you okay d Yes, Dizzy, of course. Or send, email me and we can do it private. Of course, um, Rihanna. What do you want to do? So, Rihanna, you don't want yours right now? Okay, so you, you're just going to add on to what you already have paid for, right, Rihanna? I'm just making sure I'm, you're, you know, we're communicating correctly. Rihanna? Is that what you're telling me? You're going to pay for the rest, for a full, add it on to this? Is that what you're saying? Okay. So then I'll move on to Dewandra. I'm sorry, Shabril. Shabril, did you pay for a mini or a full? Oh, so you want to do yours offline. Okay, I will, uh, I'll email you. No, baby, my prices have gone up. A mini is $35.55. Real, you just did this. We just did this last week. You getting like me now. How old are you? Mm-mm-mm. How? <laughs> it's okay, Brill. A uh, mini on here. So you want, do you, it's just 10 more. So just send 10. Yeah, we can do it right here. A mini is on here is, is 35.55. Just general. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for real. Let me get an overall energy check for you, Brio. Show me what I need to see for real. Come into this reading, Spirit, for real. And show me what I need to see. Brio, you need to check out my store, baby. So that you can see the updated prices and stuff. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for real. What does Brio need to see right now? Okay, I got it. So push through any insecurities. Cancer energy. There could be something or someone who's making you feel insecure. Maybe there's something that you're going for and you kind of feeling like, am I good enough or something like this? Yes, you are. Push through whatever insecurity you have about whatever you're going after, okay? And it's cancer, so it is cancer season. Show me what I need to see for real right now. What does real need to see right now? You can be feeling stuck in something real. Let's see what came out. Bottom of the deck is push through. Yeah, push through your insecurities. So we got take inspired action, Virgo energy, and talk less, feel more. So maybe there's Pisces energy. There could be a Pisces that you're dealing with, or you could be Pisces. I got the chills. With this Virgo energy here, there could be something or someone that you need to take action towards, but make sure it's inspired action, like don't just do busy work or something like this here. I feel like Spirit was telling you this before. Like don't do busy work. Don't do stuff that's just going to keep you busy. Make sure what actions you're taking are inspired by what you're trying, where you're trying to go and what you're trying to do. But there could be someone that you need to listen to more instead of talking a lot to. You need to listen to them. All right? So let's see what comes out for Brill. So what do I need to see for Brill, please, Spirit? What does Brill need to see? What do I need to see for Brill? Brill. 
Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Virgo towards Capricorn energy. There's somebody, either you're holding back from someone or you're or something like this, or someone's holding back from you. But somebody wants to reconcile here. It's a it's a lover, okay? Or this could be some type of a job here. But it's the, the lovers, the Three of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. I do feel like there's someone who could be holding back from you or you could be holding back from someone. Gemini energy, also uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Gemini strong, then also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Someone's coming in to give you some type of a truth about something, or you're, call, you're going towards someone to give them some type of truth. Show me what I need to see for Shabriel. We got the Six of Pentacles coming out. So, Shabriel, someone could want to give to you, or you could want to give to someone, or someone in the background could be given to someone else, someone watching you. Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. What else for Shabriel? Yeah, somebody in their feelings. Five of Cups. So, I don't know if you're giving to someone else. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and someone seeing you give to someone else, and they don't like it. Or this could be you and your feelings about somebody giving to someone else. What else? The real. We got a three of pentacles. Somebody wants to try to work something out here, though, with you, Shabriel. What else? With Shabriel. Somebody wants to come in and work something out here with you. Four of cups. Like I said, they and they feelings. Uh, or this could be you. King of pentacles. Verbal Taurus Capricorn on the bottom of the deck. Somebody feels like they missed out on something here with you. And they and they feelings bad. I'm hearing all I want is you. All I want is you. Now. All I want is you now. Now that you're gone. Gone. So, wow. Somebody watches you online. And this could be a soulmate with the Two of Cups here. They want to move to Kama Waters here, but they weren't putting work in, it looks like. But they trying to manifest your ass. And they are your counterpart. Ooh, they're your counterpart. We got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, go ahead. What'd I do with it? Right there on your phone. On your phone. Oh. Oops. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Please don't just come in. You're so silly. <laughs> you are so silly. Okay, so it, this is your counterpart, okay? Or someone who's supposed to be. We got the Two of Cups, the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Definitely feel like this is someone who wasn't seeing you like they should have seen you before. Okay, Shabriel? Hey, Chad, how you doing? Yeah, your ex definitely watching. This is your counterpart. They definitely want to come back. This person's in their feelings. They see you as they person person. Okay. What else for Shabril? Somebody want to work it out. And there's something about money here. I don't know if they owe you some money. Look, I can't make it up. This is your counterpart. The Four of Wands, 11-11, this is your counterpart. Uh, soulmate, look, they want to reconcile. Three of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups. Something has happened in the way it's supposed to happen. Or something happened in the past the way it was supposed to happen. Ooh, you got some folks jealous of you in the background, girl. Somebody wants to come in here and tell you that they sorry. Ooh, for being a hoe. I heard a whole ho out here in these streets. So somebody's sorry for being a whole ho out in the streets. Okay. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Somebody watches the fuck out of you. I feel like they want to control you a little bit here. What else for Shabriel? Aries Leo Sagittarius Pisces Cancer Scorpio Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles coming out. We got the Six and the Seven of Pentacles. I told you there's something about money. I don't know if this person owes you something. Ten of Cups. They want to put the work in, boo-boo. Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This person said, I, 
you supposed to be part of my family. Period. What else? For Chabrell. The Wheel of Fortune. Something is about to shift. Because somebody wants to put some work in. The lovers is on the bottom of the deck. When I say this is your counterparts, the lovers and the four of wands, y'all supposed to uh, do something together when it comes to making some money as well. Because the seven of pentacles, the three of pentacles, is the ten of pentacles, okay? And then we got the wheel of fortune out here and the lovers on the bottom of the deck. There's some type of a contract that also could be coming towards you. Ooh, we got the sun and the, the devil. You about to see that this person is fucking obsessed with you. You are about to see it. Mm -mm -mm. What is this for wands? The five of pentacles. Somebody, look, we got the five, six, and the seven of pentacles out here. When I tell you something is happening exactly the way it's supposed to happen. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Somebody could be sick, I'm hearing. The Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? You're supposed to be a part of this person's family, but there's something ending in the background for this person. Ace of Pentacles is coming. Something's ending in the background, and this person is coming towards you with some type of an offer here. And there's also some type of a business deal or something like this here, or some type of raise or something. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? The King of Swords. This could definitely be some type of a business transaction here with this King of Swords here. Somebody wanting to offer you more. Somebody mad, mad in the background. Somebody mad because you're not checking for them no more? They mad. And they coming. We got the the uh, chariot, the fool, and the nine of cups, and the king of swords. I, I, and the knight of swords. This person coming in fast, okay? They about to let you know. I keep hearing, now you owe me something. Owe me back while you pay your taxes or something like that. Somebody is definitely feeling like you owe them something. I don't know if it's an explanation or some money or something like this here, but somebody feels like you owe them something. I hope that that gave you the clarity that you needed. All right, let me look at this again, y'all. 5.15 on the clock as I look. All right, Dewandra, you're next, and then Trey. Rihanna, I see what you did, honey. I'm glad you're good. The Chad. I like that picture of you. Definitely everybody be mad. Yeah, there's some people bad, mad, mad in the background, girl. The Wandra. Oh, is that who said that they needed to leave? That might be the one who said it to Dizzy. Might have, I don't know who said they needed to go. Dewandra, are you still in here? You welcome, baby. I didn't know my bra was all hanging out. I really don't care. I shouldn't even have one on. It's too hot for this shit. All right, so I think DeWandra did leave. So Trey, you're next. Rihanna, I, I wanna do yours and the, uh, your full one. We can do that tomorrow. What's, what's your um, day like tomorrow? I know you've been working your ass off. Oh, you are here, okay, D. Okay, so Trey, I'm gonna do you after I do DeWandra. Tawandra, did you want, um, okay, you got, you got a seven card spread. Do you want love, um, do you want love, general, financial, health? Yeah, I see you, D. I see you. Do you want love, general, um, financial, 
spiritual health. Thank you so much for the likes, Antoinette. You're sweet. And all of you who are liking, I really appreciate it. Right, Dewandra. I said, do you want general health, love? Let's get let's get on the same page, Boo Boo, okay? What do you want, Dewandra? Do you want love, general? General. Okay, thank you. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Dewandra. Or D. Show me what I need to see for D, please, spirit. Come into this reading, spirit, for D, and show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see and not what I want to see. We ask that you protect us while we receive these messages, and we thank you today, spirit. Dewandra, D. What do we need to see? Hey, that rhymed. Okay. Bottom of the deck is release your blocks. Scorpio energy. So there could be a Scorpio that you need to let go of. Or if you're a Scorpio, there could be something that you're holding on to that you just need to release. Show me what I need to see for Delandra. We got see the bigger picture. Sagittarius energy. So there could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with that you need to look further into like I feel like you're zoomed in on one specific thing and you need to span out like really look at the big picture look at the overall energy what else for Dewandra one more one more for D bottom of the deck is know your worth Taurus energy so there could be a Taurus coming back towards you and spirit saying remember who the fuck you are what else do we need to see for Dewandra Oh, that's more than uh, one. Bottom of the deck is focus on the positive. Sagittarius energy. So maybe you're a little bit too focused on the negative when it comes to someone. And Spirit is saying, open up and see the bigger picture. We got attuned to the divine. Pisces energy. Also, know you are loved. Libra energy. Okay. He was. Oh, my God. Okay. There could be a, a Libra that is in love with you or that's going to be showing you love or there's going to be something that happens in Libra season that's going to be showing you that you are loved. You are loved, though. Make sure you understand that. Whether it be by people around you or by spirit, you, you are loved. With the attuned to the divine Pisces energy, I feel like there could be a uh, Pisces or someone that maybe you watch the spirit saying you need to connect more with me as the divine as spirit go within okay show me what I need to see for Dewanda oh I got the chills what does Dewanda need to see I just saw the ace of wands so somebody could be coming back towards you when they drink in their hand show me what I need to see please spirit for Dewanda we got the Empress, so I don't know if you're pregnant or if you're expecting a baby. We got the Three of Wands. You could be waiting for something. You could be expecting something to come your way. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for the Wandra. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. I like that energy, okay? We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of... Okay! The Seven of Cups, the King of Pentacles. So there could be something about your money that's about to go up. I feel like you might be having multiple streams of income or something like this here. Whatever it is, it's going to lead you to being fancy free with your finances, okay? So if you've been having issues or anything like that, or you've been waiting for things to turn out better for you, they're coming. Show me what I need to see for Dewandra. We got the Five of Pentacles coming out. What else for Dewandra? We got the Nine of Cups coming out. There's some type of a wish coming in here. To, I heard good fortune after something hard. Something that you've been wanting. 
widows, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got the five of wands. There could be some type of competition or some type of a big change here because five, five is about change. Queen of Wands, this could definitely have something to do with your creativity or something that you could be creating or you could be dealing with an Aries Leo, Sagittarius as well, okay? Someone who wants to come out of the cold here with you. What else? We got the Eight of Swords coming out. So somebody is mentally stuck in something, but here's the Wheel of Fortune. It's Something's about to change. So if you're feeling stuck in something or you've had a lot going on or something like this here, the Wheel of Fortune's here. You're about to move forward. Look, the Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Wands is like fast forward movement, okay? So we got Eight, Eight, and Five, Five. Definitely some changes. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles coming out. There's something coming in here for you. I don't know. You hear the cards coming fast, I said, God damn it. It's coming. What else? Oh. Okay. We got the Queen of Wands. Mm, look at all sexy and shit. We got the Emperor and the King of Wands. I don't know what this is coming towards you, sweetheart, but this is nice energy. This is you taking control of something. You could be starting some type of a partnership with someone. With the King and the Queen of Wands with the Emperor right in the middle. You could be starting something with someone and it's going to turn out fabulous here. Especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. Something nice is coming in here. Let's clarify some of these. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Well, damn. It definitely could be a business deal with the King of Swords. <laughs> I had my ass all up in the air. I'm sorry, y'all. We got the King of Swords. For the Wheel of Fortune, definitely could be business. Okay, we got the moon and the eight of wands picking out back there. That tells me that there's going to be some type of communication going back and forth, back and forth with you and someone. What's this ace of pentacles? The knight of cups. Something's coming in here. Somebody's been assessing some type of a situation here with you and they're about to come in with some type of an offer here. We got the Ace of Pentacles out here and the Ace of Wands behind this. Somebody's been assessing something here with you or you've been assessing something with someone, but there's some uh, new beginnings coming in here for you. Why is this Emperor here? Mm, we got the Lovers. So again, this could be a contract with someone or this could be a love that's coming in here towards you. Someone who's going to be wanting to commit. The king, the king, oh, I'm sorry, the queen of wands is looking at the emperor and the, and the king of wands is looking at the emperor too. I wish y'all could see this how I see it. Page of wands, there's going to be some type of communication. Again, this could be a contract, doesn't have to be. But I feel like there's love and there's a, a business deal or something like this here coming in towards you. There'd be, there could be a few people trying to check you out. We got the page of cups, the knight of pentacles, the king of cups. The Hierophant. So there's going to be a higher level of commitment coming in towards you in love. Why is this lovers here? What's this lovers? Mm, the Tower. You're not expecting this Scorpio energy and you're going to have to make a decision. Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. You're going to have to make a decision. Oh, my elevation. That means you really going to have to make a decision. You won't have to really, that's probably why this king of swords here. Maybe use your head over your heart. Don't be so much in your heart. Balance that shit out. Make sure that, understand that, that love is not, it, it's, it's love, but it takes so much more than love for a good relationship, a lover's, to work out. And if this is business for you, make sure, ooh, my nose. Make sure you, you really, Dot your eyes, cross your T's. I don't care if it's with a person or business. Okay? Absolutely. There's plenty of people coming in here towards you. King of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Swords. And we have quite a few other ones back here. Oh, Lord. There's somebody coming back from the past, though, too. You going, that's why you're going to have to make a decision. Because while you're doing this dating and stuff, someone... 
might come back from the past with the Six of Cups here. Libra in the reverse. Could be someone you got a divorce from or someone that you stopped dating that you was dating for a long time here. You're not using your intuition about something. Confirmation with the horn. You may not have heard it, but I did. There's something that you're not using your intuition about here. Could be a Aquarius or a Sagittarius. You you need to tap in because I feel like spirit's trying to give you some money and they feelings in the background. Could be a family member that lives a distance from you. Could be a Virgo or a Pisces. Why is this tower here? What's this tower? Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give to you or something's going to be given to you. I, like I said, this could be business or this could be love. This could be a job. I don't know. But the, the Queen of Wands, the Emperor and the King of Wands, the Tower and the Lovers, that's awesome energy. Ooh, I got the chills. Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Cups. See, the Three of Cups. The de some, Somebody definitely wants to reconcile here with you. There could have been some type of a death. Or somebody could have ended something with someone. You don't know that this. The moon is here. And someone's making some type of a plan to come towards you after they ended something with someone else. Could be a Virgo towards Capricorn. Feminine energy that ended something. Or this person could have passed away. And somebody wants to reconcile here with you. Take it how it fits. Okay? I got the chills real bad on that. I don't know if someone's mother passed away. I hope that that gave you insight. Um, and Trey, you're next, I believe. Yes, Trey. I'm a cancer. I don't know how to balance with this damn heart. I got all. I understand that. Uh, cancers, y'all are some very watery people. Y'all can be the sweetest people in the world, I swear. Y'all are... Y'all will give anybody the shirt off your back. That's them water signs. All right, sweetie. General. Okay. I did see your um, payment, so. Trey. Show me what I need to see for Trey. What's the overall energy for Trey? What does Trey need to see? Show me what I need to see, please. Say, well, remember the lessons, D, D, that you learned from the last time. And I feel like you've been in hermit mode enough and by yourself enough to know who you are. Stand in your power. Continue to do that. And just make sure that people's walk is matching their talk. Okay? And if you would like some coaching, I got a few spots open. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. For Trey. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Trey. What does Trey need to see? This damn sun coming back out, y'all. It's getting hot again. Bottom of the deck, Trey, is take a reality check. Capricorn energy. So either you're dealing with a Capricorn, you really need to look at that situation, or this could have something to do with your stability or your finances. Okay, Trey? That you really need to look at, maybe budget or something like this here. Show me what I need to see for Trey. What do I need to see for Trey? We got to unleash your kindest self. Capricorn energy. So there could be a Capricorn that you need to be nice, sir, too. Show me what I need to see, please, for, for Trey. That's too many. We got to work through your fears. Show me what I need to see, please, for, for Trey. Well, damn. We got to go wild. I guess Spirit said you need to have a few. So let's take them. We got to take a breather. Cancer energy. So maybe you need to take a vacation or some shit like this here. And then we got to breathe through the tension. Scorpio energy and go wild. Leo energy. So you could be getting ready to take some type of vacation uh, during Leo season or you may need to let your hair down a little bit or something like this here. Because there's a lot of tension around you. I feel like you could be dealing with someone that you don't necessarily trust. 
with this Scorpio energy here. This Scorpio is blending into the background and there could be someone around you that you need to be careful with. Watch out for. Or some shit like that here. Something, Something's coming in for you in Leo season. But you may need a vacation train. Maybe you're working too much or some shit like this here. You in your head. Show me what I need to see for Trey. What does Trey need to see, please, spirit, right now? Yeah, we got to relax on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, maybe you're a little bit too tense. And spirit is saying, take the stick out your ass. Okay, go have a good time. Go do, celebrate something. It don't matter what it is, just celebrate. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Trey. Okay, D. Didn't let you hear the end, huh? Okay, I will save it, and I'm going to try to post. It's just that uh, it's hard for me to download these right now, especially since I got to go use other Wi-Fi. Show me what I need to see, please, for the tray. I just saw the tower tray, so I don't know if you just had a tower moment with someone or if you're dealing with a Scorpio or something like this here. Show me what I need to see for Trey. You could be getting ready to have a tower moment if you haven't had one. Show me what I need to see. Somebody wants to reconcile here with you. Somebody who was a player. Show me what I need to see for Trey, please, spirit. What do I need to see for Trey? Bottom of the deck. Ooh, is the three of swords. The emperor in the reverse. The chariot in the So something was stopped dead in its tracks. And somebody is heartbroken. Something didn't work out the way someone felt like it was going to. There is some type of a new beginning that someone's trying to uh, make happen with work or something like this. Something ended all of a sudden. Show me what I need to see or it's going to. Show me what I need to see for Trey. What does Trey need to see right now? We got the Ace of Swords coming out. So I don't know if you received some type of a truth or some type of clarity about something. You know, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you found out somebody was lying, sneaky, or some shit like this here. Or you're about to find out some type of a plan that somebody has. Or maybe you're making some type of a plan. But we got the Three of Swords on the opposite side of the deck. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the Four of Pentacles. I don't know if this this is someone letting go or, some, or you letting go of something or someone... Yeah, somebody who's non-committal here with this Hierophant here in the reverse. Could be a Taurus, could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's some type of a plan that's not going the way that you felt like it should or something like this here. Six of Cups. So someone could want to come back from the past. Someone that can't seem to let you go or you can't let them go. What else for Trey? Yeah, Three of Swords. Someone broke your heart. And I feel like you've been in hermit mode for a while. Virgo energy with the hermit here. Yeah, I feel like you've been trying to let go of toxic people or toxic behaviors. There could have been a, a relationship that ended with someone. Poss possibly a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy strong. Somebody was toxic or someone's trying to let go of something that's toxic or they did. Somebody really in their head about a bunch of options or something like this here. What else? We got the two of swords. I, I do feel like there's going to be some type of a decision that you're going to have to make. Because this person is going to come back. They don't want you to see. They don't want things to have ended the way that they did. Or you don't want things to have ended the way that they did. There's a lot of sword energy here which tells me somebody's in their motherfucking head. What is this ace of swords? The judgment, yeah. I feel like you're about to find out something here. Sagittarius energy. Ten of swords. Ooh, all these swords. What is the seven of swords? The king of pentacles. So I don't know if there's some type of a court case or something like this here that you're waiting for. Clarity on. Verbal towards Capricorn with the king of pentacles. Maybe you're waiting for some type of money or something like this here. Or there's some type of a plan that you're going towards. 
when it comes to your money. What is this, uh, the Hierophant in the reverse? Yeah, I do feel like you're going within. I feel like you've been going within for a while and you're trying to get rid of some type of toxicity or someone around you is. Or maybe you were dealing with someone toxic and you're, you've are you gone within and I feel like you're releasing them or you're releasing the toxicity. Definitely feel like somebody was non-committal and toxic in the past. And you see it or you saw it. What is this six of cups? Oh, we got the Ace of Cups coming. I told you, there's someone coming back from the past. The uh, um, Temperance is on the bottom of the deck here. It just fell out. I'm not going to take it, but it just means that this person wants to bring in some type of um, balance here with you, okay? They want to pour into you, I'm hearing. What is this Three of Swords? Yeah, you're guarded. Seven of Wands here. Yeah. As you should be, like someone broke your heart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, tower. Someone's coming in. And you're not expecting this. What is this two of swords? Whoever this is. We got the four of pentacles. I do feel like there's going to be something about your finances that you're going to have to make a decision about. We got the sun and the tower. Wow. You got a plan. Trying to get out of it. Releasing the toxicity, okay? Stay guarded. Because I do feel like somebody wants to try to romance you or something like this here. And I feel like this person had you feeling stuck for a while. What's this Ace of Cups? The King of Swords. So somebody wants to come in and give you some truth about how they feel about you. Mmm, two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody wants to come. Ooh. Somebody wants to come back. Two of cups, King of Wands. They coming. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. You got, you got four kings here. Because I just saw... Okay, no. We got the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the King of Wands. So you could have a few people from the past trying to come back towards you. You hear bird? There's going to be some type of communication. We got the King of Cups too. I was right. You got all four kings. You won't be chitter-chattering with some people back and forth, back and forth. You hear them birds talking to each other? Somebody definitely jealous in the background. But they ain't showing, they ain't showing that they are. Like someone is stone-faced. They're not showing any emotion or anything like this. But they got a lot of emotions for you. King of Cups, the Empress, the Page of Wands. This person wants to come in with some type of an offer. Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands. Someone's coming. They coming in strong too. Two of Cups. This is a this is a soulmate. There's a few soulmates here. And they're all kings. That's good energy. Why is this judgment here? The Ten of Pentacles. There's something coming in here for you. This could be a court case or I don't know. But there could be something that's a judgment that's meant for you. It's on your path. The judgment being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. The judgment is clarifying the Ace of Swords. There's, so there's some information that's coming towards you. Some type of a judgment call, or maybe you call judgment on someone. Someone in your family, maybe. But there's definitely some type of money that's coming in here towards you. Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands, Two of Cups. There's some type of fortune of some, some type. Some type of abundance. King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, The Ten of Pentacles. What's this Ten of Pentacles? The Sun. So you want to see this with your own two eyes. This is amazing energy here. Something is going to come out in your favor. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Pisces, a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're all here. So whatever happened after someone broke your heart, it was meant to happen. For you to stand in your power, for you to let go of something I'm hearing. 
There's something that you needed to let go of. I guess the toxicity. What is what is the uh, devil and the hermit together? What is that? Yeah. The ten of wands in the reverse. You letting go of these burdens. You letting go of those burdens. That's good. Eight of swords. I do feel like you felt like you were stuck for a while. I said that earlier. But it's, it's changing. It's changing. This is amazing energy. Continue to guard your heart. Continue to do what you're doing. Someone is jealous. I feel that. I said that last time. Yeah. There's definitely something coming in here towards you. I love the fact that you're letting go of the toxicity and that it's actually coming out in your energy in the cards. Like, that's amazing. That means you're making changes. That means you've gone within and you, you're making those changes. That's amazing. And your money is about to go up too, it looks like. Continue to protect your heart because I do feel like there's people around you that don't mean you well, okay? I don't like that feeling. But you need to relax, baby. Relax a little bit. Stop working so hard or something like this here. Watch that damn Scorpio or whoever this is here that's trying to blend in and they don't belong. They trying to do some shit. Sabotage or something. Mm -hmm. All right, I hope that that helped. You're welcome. You should be proud of yourself. That's good energy. It's not easy to change. It's not. But when you do do it, it's amazing. Rihanna, are you still in here, baby? Did you want to do your one reading here? And then we can, um, I'll email you and we can decide when you want to do your uh, full reading. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Dewandra. I love your name, by the way. Are you named after two people? Like, did they put your name together from mom and dad, or are you named after two people? It's like you can hear me. Hey, Ronnell. <laughs> um, okay. Deandra. Okay. I guess Riri left. Or she might just be listening. I figured she was working. She always working. All right, y'all. I'm going to get final messages and I'm going to sign off because I don't know if I'm coming back on tonight. I might, though. But let me give you guys final messages for the collective. And I'm going to sign off, okay? Because I feel like I got everybody. Thank you so much for the gift. Your granny got it from a soap opera. <laughs> that sounds like something my grandmother would have did. I don't know. Show me why. <laughs> I like it. Show me why I need to see, please, spirit, for the overall energy for this collective. Final messages, please, for the collective. Overall energy. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate y'all. I couldn't find your email. It's the Awakened Empress 33 at gmail.com. It's all together. The Awakened Empress 33 at gmail. I may have taken it off the link tree, baby, but I thought that I had it still on there. So it's the Awakened Empress 33 at gmail.com. I welcome any type of communication, okay? Just not for people who want, um, uh, business links with me and shit but I don't mind if people email me <laughs> show me why that's what it's for show me why I need to see please spirit for this collective what's the final messages I did see shine so some of y'all are shining you better keep on shining show me what I need to see please and we got storms all oh, hell yeah with the storms literally and figuratively show me what I need to see please spirit for this collective Overall energy. 
Bottom of the deck, hell yeah, Empress Energy, Queen Nefertiti, Alchemy. So some of y'all are using your alchemy to get what you want. You mixing this and mixing that and putting shit together and making it happen and shit, okay? The number 38 is an 11. So some of you guys could be in some type of a twin flame or you could be, ooh, my nose. You guys could be meeting a soulmate soon. Show me what I need to see for this overall energy for this collective. Overall energy. Look, I told you, shine, baby, shine. Okay, look at all that earthy energy around you, that plush wealth, this luxuriousness all around you. Some of y'all could definitely be thinking about going for a hike or going in uh, on a path to walk or something like this here. I'm seeing a path in a, like a forest or some type of a hiking trail. Somebody's very big on bikes, like somebody rides bikes every day. You got your helmet on and your glasses and somebody could have one of those, what's them damn things that they put on the helmets now? The GoPro? What was that? Somebody could have a GoPro. Somebody wears biker shorts. Mm-mm-mm, -mm -mm, fellas. <laughs> in the biker shorts. Somebody's very natural when it comes to their um, to their booty hair. That's just, I don't know how else to say it. Like you just let your bush grow. Okay, you just let it all hang out or something. You said it's natural. <laughs> okay. Somebody could have recently bought some dangly earrings, some type of, they're either white or they're diamond, they're dangly, like they're like these, but they're, they're very, uh, there's like a lot of stuff going on with them, but they're pretty, like, they, they look either whitish or they have diamonds or cubic zirconios, whatever the fuck they are, okay? Some of y'all could have gotten a, a um, some of y'all could have gotten a, um, a protective style recently, ladies, for for the summer. And I just heard some new lipstick. What else? I f I ain't forget blue and gold. I was thinking Ronell. I was thinking um. What was the name? The Omaha Storms or the Nebraska Storms. That's what they could be. Instead of the angry, we, 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 don't, we don't want to do the angry. Let's not be angry. Let's do the Omaha Storms, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for the overall energy. I just, look, Radical Rebirth. Show me what I need to see for this collective. We got worthiness coming out. Number 14, which is a five. So you guys are going through changes. I'm not the only one. We got secrets revealed. Oh, shit. So either somebody's about to reveal some secrets to you or this has already happened. Some of y'all could be visiting Africa or you could be Arabian. Some of you ladies could wear face jewelry or or guys. I, I'm really feeling really Arabian and African energy here. Got camels and everything. I don't know if someone recently went on a camel ride or you've experienced this recently. Somebody's into yarn. The number 36 is a nine. The secrets revealed. This could be someone revealing something to you recently or this is going to be happening. Give me one more for the collector. 
we got seasons, so yeah, I feel like we're all going through different seasons, and this one is a number one, so beginnings, new beginnings happening, guys. Definitely feel like there's some Arabian, African jewelry uh, trips or something here, and then we got fearless love, so some of y'all are definitely meeting a soulmate, or a, uh, a twin flame. The number 25 is a 7, so it's definitely divinely guided. Then we got the number 33. Y'all know how I feel about the threes. Lots of support. People backing you up here. Somebody could have one of those picks that got the fist on it. Somebody's into seashells or something like this here. Some of y'all could be changing your diet as well. There's a lot of fruit and vegetables here. Somebody could play the Congos or the Bongos or Well somebody's interested in learning. Okay. What else for the collective? Final messages. Final messages for this collective. I'm glad you like that one now. Bottom of the deck is the page of wands. Y'all gonna be getting some type of communication, some type of offers or something like this here? Ace of Swords, some type of communication? Some type of clarity? What else for this collective? Final messages, spirit. We got the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Also the Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be um, looking over your finances right now. Some of y'all could be trying to get some clarity about some type of finances for something that you want to do or something that you want to buy. Page of Wands still on the bottom of the deck. Somebody... Some of y'all could be going towards a, a mother figure with some type of clarity or a mother figure could be coming towards you with some type of clarity. Could be assessing some type of situation here with a mother or someone who is a mother. It doesn't have to be yours. Okay. Give me more. Just final messages. Yeah, something that's going to move forward. The chariot. After you assess some type of, after you get some type of clarity with someone or someone gives you some type of clarity, you're going to be assessing the situation and you're going to be moving forward here. Or well, someone's moving forward towards you. Why is this chariot here? Fool. Yeah, something new. What's this chariot? Ten of Cups. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, Collective. Whatever this message is, this clarity is that's coming in towards you, some type of, somebody's going to give you some type of clarity. I feel like someone is assessing some type of a situation here with you. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, very strong. And you're going to be moving forward. Something's going to, something's coming in here. Why the Ace of Swords? What's this? The Four of Swords. Oh, that's nice. Some some type of clarity that's going to be very healing. I don't like that message, Spirit. There definitely could be a clarity about somebody. You could get some information about somebody passing away. Why am I getting this message? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be some type of clarity or some type of information about somebody passing away. Give me a time frame on this. What's the time frame on this? We got the Five of Cups, so it could be five days. Five weeks. We got the sun. Could be a sun. Oh. Three of swords. This is this is gonna be very heartbreaking for someone.
this is good. This could be a sun. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini. A mother could be getting some type of communication about a son passing away. Or being sickly in a hospital, but I'm hearing pass away. All right, y'all. Within the next five days, five weeks. All right. I don't like to end it like that, guys, but um, y'all know I'm going to tell you what I see. So I hope that you guys enjoyed most of this message. <laughs> okay. Thank y'all for all of the um, 555. Wow. Um, thank you guys for all of the readings that you guys purchased uh, today and helping me with the issue that I'm having when it comes to my housing, my utilities. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Like, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate uh, all that you guys do uh, for me. Um, Y'all are truly my soul family, and I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I will be back. I might be back on if I can get my phone to charge up a little bit more. Um, I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Don't forget to email me, Ronnell. Be awakened Empress33 at, at Gmail. I was going to say Yahoo. At Gmail. I don't have a Yahoo. Bye.